Hi friends, what's up? This is Dark K from 360 Reader. It's time to learn how to change file extensions in iOS 16 on iPhone and iPad. By changing the file extension, you can quickly convert a file into a different file format. It saves you from going through the relatively time-consuming way of converting a file. That's the reason why most file manager apps provide the option to edit file extensions. And with iOS 16, this long-awaited feature has arrived in the Apple Files app as well. With that said, let me show you how to quickly change file extensions in iOS 16 or later the right way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, open the Apple Files app on your iPhone or iPad. Now go to the file which extension you would like to edit. Then long press on the file and choose rename in the pop-up menu. Then enter the new file extension and then hit the done button at the bottom right corner of the on-screen keyboard. When you get the pop-up asking you to confirm the action, be sure to tap on use new extension. Bear in mind that changing the file extension may make the file open in a different app. That's pretty much done. So that's how you can change the file extension in iOS 16 or later. It's worth pointing out that Apple Files app keeps the original file extensions hidden and that could prevent you from editing the file extensions. Luckily, forcing all the files in Apple Files app to show extensions is pretty simple. To do so, open the Files app on your device and then navigate to a folder or file and then hit the triple dot icon located at the upper right corner of the screen and choose View Options in the menu and after that select Show All Extensions and you are good to go. From now onwards, the Stock File Manager app will begin to show the file extensions that editing extensions will become easy for you. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone and iPad hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.